what's going on guys welcome back to another video where today i'm going to be doing an update mod on my fiesta st a lot has changed and um, some of the mods i am going to go through that you've already seen i'm going to go through everything that's happened so far uh, but obviously i won't go into as much detail if i know you've seen it on the previous video because obviously i've done one probably about six seven months ago i'm not too sure but it's going well so before we carry this on i want to just say um excuse the fucking messy hair needs a really serious haircut and the wind noise, we are actually in the middle of nowhere. It's pretty windy. There's people down there doing some like motorbike tests or something. We've got people doing dog walking. So I'm gonna show you around the car right now. So as you can see, what I pointed out before, I've got the triple R front splitter, as you can see right there, with the gloss black painted fog lights around and like the little bottom grill. Moving around the car now. You'll be able to see that right there. Moving on into the engine bay, I'm going to talk about what is, not much has changed, well nothing really I don't think from what you've seen, battery cover painted, engine cover painted, um, antifreeze bottle cover on it, mount tune induction pipe running into an ITG which runs off a of static air which sits right under here, as you can see there is an install video on my channel so check that one out, AET Symposia Delete right down there doing its job it is absolutely filthy this engine bay needs a good clean but anything else in this engine bay hasn't really changed still the same um, I'm gonna be getting crossover pipes might get another induction kit I'm not too sure yet stuff has happened underneath here though so just gonna jump in the car what's changed in the interior as you have seen on one of my videos I've now got the auto beam lights interior lights and the footwell lights as well Hard to see, just the pure fact we can kind of see that one needs to relocate that. Um, just the pure fact, obviously it's daytime, it's hard to see, but they are pretty cool lights. Really do like it. Apart from that, not much has changed in the interior at all. Just needs a good hoover. Need to get something to cover that because I want to get rid of that mountain tune badge. Want something to fill that hole. Um, but yeah, nothing much has really changed on the interior. What I'm going to do is start the car. And I've got something really cool to show you. Okay guys, so I said that something's happened in the engine. I've actually got something to put on my turbo. Let me give it a rev and you'll see what I mean. Yes, that's right guys. I've now got a turbo smart dump valve fitted on there. It's a dual port one onto the, the ST. It sounds absolute pucker. Adds about five to six brake horsepower, but it sounds absolutely the nuts. Um, that is one mod I would say definitely get for the ST. It is really, really good. I'm glad that I spent the money out on getting it. Really big difference. So that's one of the major mods that has changed since my previous video. Let's jump on to the rest. Okay, guys, it's absolutely just started to chuck down. I have now run in a full Miltech uh, 2.75 bore, I think it is, uh, system running onto the ST, nice sound, obviously I swapped that with my friend. Here we have, we have the rear tinted lights. So I've now got a tint on my rear lights, it makes it get that bit more aggressive look. Absolutely lovely look that has to it, it's absolute pucker. Just gives that more of an aggression look to it. I think that is really nice. I'm gonna jump up to this bit. So here we have spoiler risers, we've now added some spoiler risers to the ST just to give that little bit of a lift onto your spoiler like I said a bit more aggressive with these lights and that is starting to look so much more meaner it is getting there looking really really good oh my god I absolutely hate the winter I've decided um, it's not even really winter now but the rain just needs to do one constantly like just trying to film this video <laughs> I feel like the end of the car got really rushed just the pure fact that I actually started chucking it down. Yes, I've got my coat, but the car was getting soaked. The bonnet was still up. Oh my God, it was a bit of a disaster. But guys, so the rear has had, obviously the Miltech exhaust. It's now got the rear tinted lights and the spoiler risers. And I have also got um, car enhancement uh, number plate lights as well, LED ones. Show you them in the dark on another video. They are bloody bright, I tell you, but they look absolute pucker when you're driving down the road. So I wanna just say, if you've all noticed on the channel, the Instagram and stuff like that, the name of the channel has changed. It's now LR180. 
reason I changed this is just the pure fact LR180, has, the LR has a lot of a meaning to me and the 180 for the ST180. And I think it's more catchy. But if you type in car care onto YouTube, you kind of just got a massive bunch of like different car care. So it could be like how to change a filter. It could be like how to look after your car, stuff like that. It wasn't actually my sort of channel. It just didn't feel right. So the logo's changed, the banner's changed, the channel name's changed, the Instagram's changed. It's going to proper be kicking off. I want to just say again, as I say in every video, thank you for all the support on my channel. The uh, subs are growing like endlessly. It's pr getting pretty well. I'm getting like a good few subs a day. It's doing really, really well. I'm not one of these that's got hundreds and hundreds of subs. I'm, I think I'm about 172 now. But to me, that's 172 people have hit that subscribe button. That's a bloody lot for someone that just talks to a camera. Do you know what I mean? That's really, really good. So guys, I can't thank you all enough and I hope to see you in my next video. Keep an eye out because a lot is happening to this ST. I've got a few more videos planned. Um, really exciting. Just waiting for them to all turn up and now I can get filming. But guys, hope you do enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Cheers guys.